Hello, all your physics teachers out there. Today, we're going to talk about the Colliding Pucks Momentum Lab created by Multimedia Science. Let's start the program. The Colliding Pucks Momentum Lab allows you to run six experiments, and the lab sheets are provided. We'll look at those in a minute. And they look at five possible collisions. The first one is an elastic collision. The pucks bounce off of each other, and they each have the same mass. Second simulation looks at an inelastic collision where they stick together, but the velocity of the first puck is zero. The third one looks at an inelastic collision. The pucks stick together, but now both pucks are moving at the beginning. The fourth one is an elastic collision where the masses can be changed, and the initial object starts at zero velocity. The fifth is an elastic collision where both pucks are moving. The provided uh, lab sheets um, include an overview, procedure, and six experiments uh, using each of the five simulations. And one simulation is used twice where we look specifically at how the kinetic energy changes in uh, the collision. So let's take a look at the first simulation. You can see here we have a, a single puck that is at zero velocity. The puck B will be coming in from the left and we can start the motion and we can stop the motion at any time. And then the pucks collide. Now, in order to um, solve the uh, momentum equation, uh, students will have to measure both the velocity and mass of the puck or pucks after the collision. They will know all of the information about the pucks before the collision, so there's nothing to measure. Students will have to take this measurement by using the ruler to measure the distance and the clock to measure the time. So they will take a segment of distance and the delta in the time to figure out what the final velocity, in this case, of puck A. After the students take the data of the two distances and the two times, they will then calculate out the momentums. So here is the data sheet for the lab, for the five, excuse me, six ex uh, experiments. And then here are the calculation sheets for calculating out the initial and the final uh, momentums. They will then check to see whether or not the momentum is conserved and what the percent error is. Each of the six labs have a point. They have a reason for running to lab and a question that must be answered. For instance, in the first lab, um, the students will have to note that when the masses are equal, then the final puck will end up having um, the same velocity as the initial puck, and the initial puck will stop with zero velocity after the collision. Let's take a look at some of the other simulations. Here's the uh, inelastic collision with two pucks. You can see that you can change both the velocity and the mass of each of the two pucks, start them in motion, and stop at any point. So it makes it nice and easy for students to take the data. Uh, one of the problems I've had with using um, uh, the real uh, momentum simulators, the air tracks, is that everything happens so quickly. Unless you have uh, you know, timers, um, it's, it's pretty hard to get the data correctly. Um, let's look at the elastic collision. Again, with two pucks, we can change the 
uh, masses and the velocities. You can see here that the masses are shown, that this is uh, 4 and this is 3. And once they hit, again, you can stop the motion at any point to figure out the final velocities. There is a help button that will bring up a set of um, links that will talk about um, exactly how to take the data, the five simulations, uh, review what momentum is in kinetic energy. So students can use this if necessary. There is a answer key. Uh, that provides all of the answers uh, to the lab for grading purposes. There is a set of uh, answer key data for all of the six experiments and all of the calculated answers. Um, some of the questions, of course, deal with what the percent R is in the momentum. Um, in this case, it's the percent R in the kinetic energy which shows how the kinetic energy is or is not conserved between the elastic and the inelastic collisions. Uh, finally, there is an instructor's uh, guide that talks about the lab, the uh, various parts of the lab, the answer keys, and so on. Uh, there's lots of ways that you can use this simulation. Um, if I have a computer lab, I would take the students down and give them the uh, lab sheets and let them run through the lab themselves. Um, you could run it uh, on a smart board or on a projector in front of the classroom and have the class take the data as a whole. Uh, if you have uh, other uh, lab with equipment, uh, you could definitely have students who are absent run this lab uh, in lieu of the lab that you typically, typically run. So um, this is a very nice uh, simulation uh, for your momentum unit. If you're interested in the uh, momentum lab, please go to Teachers Pay Teachers at this URL and uh, search for the Colliding Pucks Lab. Thanks.